Hi, this is your instructor Chris. In this video I'm going to show you how to create and upload a robots.txt file to the root directory of your website. In this lesson, we created a simple web page shown here with the title Ice Cream for Sale, Hundreds of Flavors, and a description meta tag and a keywords meta tag. To upload this to your website, you need an FTP client such as FileZilla. You can download FileZilla from www filezilla-project.org. Once you have FileZilla, you'll need to set up a new site in FileZilla using the host name, username, and password provided by your hosting provider. I've done that here, and then you can connect to the website. And after you connect, you'll see what's called the root directory. This is where the files for your website live. When you upload the file, it becomes available on your website and you can see it by going into a browser and going to your website address. If there are pages on your website that you don't want search engines to be able to index, you need to create a robots.txt file. We'll create that now using Sublime Text. The first line of a robots.txt file should be the user agent. We'll use user-agent colon asterisk. This indicates that this robots.txt file should apply to any automated program, such as a search engine spider, that visits this website. The next line is the disallow line. And if you wanted to prevent all search engines from indexing your site, you would use just a slash. If you wanted to prevent them from just indexing a certain directory, such as perhaps an admin directory, you would specify it like that. If you wanted to disallow access to just a single file, you could put the file name right here. For example, private.html. You can save the file. as robots.txt and then return to FileZilla, refresh, and then upload by dragging or by right-clicking on the file and selecting upload. Now when a search engine visits your site it won't index the folder called admin and it won't index a file called private.html. I hope you found this video useful. 